Hey guys, Cassie here. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Now, if you've been looking at my Instagram, you've been seeing that I've been getting my yogi on and I've been practicing my headstand. Now, I have to tell you, this is something that I didn't think I could ever, ever do. I mean, my parents enrolled me in gymnastics when I was like, I don't know, eight, nine or something like that. And once they saw me on the uneven bars, they unenrolled me right away because I was not good and I didn't have the daringness to go upside down and flip over bars and then they enrolled me in tennis. And I was pretty good at that. Um, but I didn't actually reconnect with my inner, I guess, um, gymnast or yogi until recently, actually like three months ago, I was like, you know what? I am going to try to master a headstand. And to me at that point, I felt like it was something I just could not do. Like, I mean, bouncing on your head upside down, that is really scary. Um, but every day I practice for about five minutes, five to 10 minutes, just trying and trying with the wall. And then that moment when I finally got my legs up and I was like wavering in the wind and just holding my core so tight and it happened, I can't tell you. It was the most satisfying thing in the world at that point. And it's not like getting an A on a test, you know, making money from some gig or something. It was just like inner satisfaction just for yourself. And that was just so sweet and so perfect. And today I wanna to show you how to do a headstand. Now I'm not a professional yogi, but I can tell you that if you keep trying, you can do this, okay? So we're gonna start with the wall and then we'll go into independence mode. All right, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I have to tell you, I am in this month's issue of Seventeen Magazine with my friend Bethany Moda, um, Michelle Fawn, and Miss Glamorazzi, and all of your other favorite YouTubers. I'm super, super honored to be in there. And also there is a spread of me showing you how to get flat abs fast, so be sure you try that routine in there. Plus there is a giveaway way too. So show me your cover and the spread when you get it. And anyway, let's get back to that headstand. So what you guys want to do first is find a wall because this is the best way to practice by yourself without any assistance from anyone else. And you want to kneel down and then place your elbows and your forearms in front of you and clasp your hands together. Now the placement of the head here is really important because you're going to want the top of your head to be on the yoga mat or the floor and for the back of your head to be against your palm. Now, now, you are going to lift your hips up and then walk and tippy toe your feet as close as you can to your head and then leap up so that your feet will be touching the wall. Now, this part is scary, so if you need to take a few tries, that's totally okay. Eventually, you'll touch the wall. Now, once you're there, you're gonna wanna straighten out your spine and you're going to want to breathe. I always found that it helped me stay up and stay balanced when I took an inhale through my nose and exhale through my mouth and when I really tightened my core. If you're beginning to feel kind of confident, slightly take your heels off of the wall and see how long you can hold. And if you're scared, you can come back on the wall again. It is there for you. And you're gonna wanna practice this as much as you can until you feel confident to do it without the wall. And then slowly take your legs away from the wall and end in a child's pose and let all that blood rush away from your head and back into your body. If at this point you are confident enough to do it without the wall, and for some people it may be a few days, a few months, it doesn't matter. Everyone is different. As long as you keep practicing, that's all I care about. You will basically do the same thing. Hands behind the head, top of the head on the mat. lift up. Now this part is scary because you will be wavering, you'll be quivering. But like I said before, tighten your core, breathe, 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 and you will find stability. You'll find balance as long as you believe in yourself. And I feel like for me, one of the things holding me back from this move was not believing I could do it. Truly believe that you can and you'll be fine. Just be safe though. Another move you can advance into is the stag. So you're basically going to split your legs, bend your knees, point your toes. It's a very, very beautiful pose. Take your time getting into this. And finally, if you can, extend your legs and go into a split. Now I'm still working on my split in the air. I know it's not totally perfect, but as I continue to get more flexible in my back and in my legs, hopefully one day this will be straight. But you know what? Yoga, fitness, Pilates, it is all a journey. Just keep practicing and I promise you'll become more flexible, stronger, and a lot happier with your progress. And once you're done with that, go ahead and bring your legs down slowly and in a child's pose. And there you go. You did a headstand. If you guys do end up practicing the headstand, I would love to see your progress photos. Photos. So be sure to upload them to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and use the hashtag blogalatesyoga, and we will get stronger and more flexible together. I cannot wait to see your pics. 
So how did that feel? Did you get it? Don't worry if you didn't. If this is your first time, expect to be doing this over and over again every day for about I don't know, one to three months. Um, it took me about three months to really get up, I think, and then to really gain confidence. So keep practicing. Your body will begin to align itself. You'll become more aware with your balance. And that's just something that honestly takes time. It's gonna be different for everybody. And if you're just a natural gymnast acrobatic, then you may get it your first time. So good for you. Let me know in the comments below what other yoga moves you think I should try to master. And uh, once I figure that out, I will make a tutorial for you so yeah you feel free to link to pictures and things so I can see what you're talking about so guys I think that is all keep training insane and I'll see you next time bye and, and bring your legs out as far as you can okay now if you have to stay about right here that's fine try not to bounce up and down because that can really hurt but slowly gradually push yourself down make sure that knee is pressed into the mat Okay, that groin is laying right onto the mat.